Where in the first half you guys struggled a bit to get the offense going. Uh, what does your production off the bench kind of mean to the team? And do you kind of put that responsibility on yourself on a night where maybe the starters don't have it going that you need to kind of pick up the slack for them? Um, I just try to bring a spark off the bench uh, every time I come in, um, whether we're doing well or whether or not. Um, so that's what I try to do. What did Coach Chambers have to say to you guys about the defense that you played tonight after the game? What feedback did he give you? Um, it was really at halftime he talked to us about just playing with more energy. And I think the second half we really picked it up, and he was he some pretty proud. A few days ago we asked you about what this game you know means to you and if it could be any different. Did it end up feeling any different than now that you've already played Indiana? No, I didn't feel any different at all. I mean, some familiar faces, but other than that, it was just another game. Curtis, when you left Indiana, um, what... Well, what was your feelings like, and what are your feelings like now? That was a long time ago. But, um, I guess I was just ready for a change, and um, now I feel great. Uh, I'm glad uh, for the team we got here, and I think we continue to do great things, so now I feel, I feel real good. Curtis, what's it mean just to have a, uh, a, a good group here with uh, – you know, so a lot of young guys and a lot of uh, veteran guys like yourself. Uh, what does it kind of mean the way that you know that this team gels uh, going into this part of the season? I think it means everything. Um, for us, we get along so well. Like everybody on and off the court, and I think when we play, you can tell. And I think it helps us a lot when people really care about each other and want to play for each other like that. Curtis, this is the best Miles has shot from three since Big Ten play restarted. What does it mean to you guys to see him sort of having fun out there still and, and playing hard on defense? Because after he made the first three, he was, I mean, he was smiling all the way down the court. Oh, it's great. Um, Miles is, he's resilient. He's going to keep going regardless. So, you know, eventually he's got to come, come back and he's coming back now. He's starting to hit shots and I think it's great for us. Curtis, when Shots aren't falling for you guys, and Jamari's just kind of running around everywhere, playing like a chicken with his head cut off, and making defensive plays everywhere. Like, how does that change the team's momentum compared to maybe a big quarter three or a big dunk? Um, yeah, I think just shots don't always fall. So, um, so being able to play defense is big. Be, always being consistent on defense, and that's something Jamari always does. He's a he's a dog. Like he. That's what he does. He, defensively, that's his thing. So I think that helps us a lot when we're not making shots, but being able to lock down and not allow them to score either. Hey, Curtis, this is your last season in collegiate basketball. What's the legacy you want to leave after this season? Uh, champion. I want to be a champion. All right, I think that's a perfect place to end, everybody. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Rose.